Hey guys, welcome back to Nichols Retirement Empire. Today, we're going on a bike ride around the, uh, around my house here. I didn't really want to go anywhere way off or anything. Yeah, but I really, I mean, it's such a nice sunny day and it's not cold today, but it's really windy and you can't fish, well you can, but it's hard to fish with the wind. I don't know, just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the fish. You know, used to, I would go out, I'd do these videos. Of course, when I lived in Paulding County, I, I couldn't go fish. There wasn't anywhere to go. But I would walk every day. And I mean, I would walk like, or ride my bike or whatever like two hours a day and in the course of a two-hour walk I would manage to think of something clever to say if you're new and you've never watched any of those videos you can go back and watch them I pretty much uh, solved all the world's problems I mean you may not be interested in solving the world's problems I don't know oh you know what I have learned that and this is this this is pretty deep you guys i hope you appreciate this i'm i'm digging deep on the internet there are two kinds of people that seek information and i know you have seen this i know you've seen it the first kind of person that will go on and if they're looking to learn about a certain subject or find certain information, they'll do an extensive search of all that the internet has to offer. They'll find it, they'll read it, they'll watch it, they'll watch different ones and compare them. You know, they won't just do a normal search like regular people do. And they'll look at stuff for months or years. Like if they want to fix their dryer, they'll look up that dryer. They'll see if there's a parts guide. They'll see if there's a manual online. They'll go through that. They'll see what everything is in it. Then they might watch some YouTube videos where a guy fixes the, uh, the washing machine. Uh, how to troubleshoot the problems with the washing machine. You know, then they might see some references to some uh, chat rooms where people ask questions, or they might go to the site of the manufacturer. Uh, they'll find out everything they need to know, and then they'll fix their washer. That's one kind of person. Those people you probably will never hear from on the internet. You'll probably never see a comment you might see a question, and if they ask a question, somewhere it's going to be a very specific question that they are going to aim only at people that can give them an answer. But here's the other kind of person. The other kind of person, they will just get on Facebook. <laughs> it's generally, it's almost always Facebook. They'll just get on Facebook and ask the question. Does anybody, you know, it could be any kind of question. I'll say, I just bought some cast iron. How do you take care of it? How do I season it? Yeah. <laughs> just, it's like going outside. It's like going to Walmart and walking into the store and just cupping your hands to your mouth and screaming, Hey, does anybody in here know how to take care of cast iron? <laughs> Oh, you have no idea who's gonna answer that question if they even know what cast iron is if they it, 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 it's just well, and what is so crazy is that people will answer they don't want to look anything up they don't want to find out any info they just want you to give them the correct information on how to do this stuff no effort whatsoever 
and try and find out anything. Just all us ask Facebook. And then somebody will come on here and give me the right answer. Now, you will find, like I said, if anybody does actually try to help you, it's gonna be people that are like your personal friends, or it'll be people that maybe it's their first day on Facebook. <laughs> they just now learned about the internet or something. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna take the time out of my day to answer this person and give them all this information. Uh, and then they'll type all this stuff out or you know, give you links to things that are gonna help you learn how to do it. And they might try to help people like that a few times, but pretty soon they'll find out that those people, they're not gonna look at any of the links you send them. They're not gonna read your explanation if it's too long. Uh, they're not gonna know if your good explanation is really any good or not because they're gonna get 500 other answers that are anywhere from just people being mean to people that are crazy. <laughs> you have, oh, they get all these answers. And since they don't know anything about it at all, they don't know which answer is right. So you have those people. And it is so funny when I'm on these group things, like, you know, a fishing group or a cooking group or whatever, and people come on there and say, I'm coming down to Florida next week. I've never fished in saltwater my whole life. What do I need to do? Well, that's a pretty big question. <laughs> And you'll have people that last stuff like that. And in these groups, these guys are just merciless. You know, they'll just come on and the fish are in the water. You know, I mean, they'll, every kind of wacky comment they can come up with, that's what they're gonna get. And, uh, and you'll have some people that are some well-meaning people that'll try to help them. But generally, you just get a total bunch of bull crap and it never it's like just it's it's a never ending cycle and i sure never go on any group and make any kind of comment i never answer telling people what to do because if you do know and you answer somebody hey girl boy whatever you are gonna I got a uh, fellow traveler here. Fellow traveler. Going with me. Oh, he's standing. You'll get three other comments on there saying you don't know what you're talking about. So, it really is kind of a waste of time to try to help like that. Uh, so to me, the only people that generally try to answer those questions, like I said, are people that don't know any better or people that really do think they know everything and they just cannot help themselves but to answer every question on the internet so that's the two information seekers out there the one extreme that they seek information like they are writing a doctoral thesis you have those people and then you have the people that don't seek at all don't get involved do not ever get involved keep walking keep scrolling do not engage don't look at them don't don't ask any questions yourself it's survival of the internet fittest <laughs> just leave just leave them out there tell them good luck and hope you figure it out. But as somebody whose family basically makes their living off the internet, I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me, which means I'm not gonna bite my wife's hand. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be thankful for the internet. I'm gonna take it for what it's worth. Don't take it personally. Just kind of keep on keeping on 
use it as a tool that it is the thing that really kind of throws all this up in the air are the people that really don't even want to know they go on and they ask those crazy questions on purpose to aggravate the people that get all wound up when people ask those kind of questions and have to get involved they do it to get those people or they i don't know some people just like to argue and you know what there's a lot of people that like to argue and now that there's a place that you can go and argue all day and all night to your heart's content without ever having to worry about somebody getting mad and punching you in the face now you don't have to worry you used to if you wanted to argue all the time you could argue all the time with people but you would lose friends but now you can do it and you could just spend all day long and all night long arguing with people and if that's what you like to do i know a great place <laughs> i know great places for you to do that Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.